Okay, so today I'm gonna show you our member plan table, which was very, very special and incredible this time. Large plants, big variety, uh, Venice Area Orchid Society a member plan table. So we're gonna start with this gorgeous, a breathtaking symbidium uh, that according to the growers was purchased at Trader Joe's a couple of years ago and look, it survived. Uh, here in, in Florida, symbidiums not always survive because you gotta have a warm loving symbidium otherwise they don't last long here. This one, they done a great job with it. Uh, one of the highlights of that table was this group of nobilies grown all by the same person in the wood basket there's a name for you it's massive it's healthy it's just stunning this specific one got the third place it's probably over three four feet wide uh there's another one in the more pink and yellow uh colors uh, staked up so if you see if you stake them up they look a little different I think they look more of a showy I would definitely stake it up for the show or something like that but when they are down of course it looks very natural and organic like this next one if you would stake this all up you'd had uh, just an abundance of that deep pink there's a name for you. The names on the cards are for judging because all plants will be judged by the members and will be given the ribbons, first, second, and third uh, speakers award. Dr. Hackney was our speaker and there is a fourth in that group. Uh, speakers award and members choice award and also species of the months and I believe uh, the new member will get the ribbon as well. So as we will go, we'll see who got what. The third place went to that pink dendrobium so far. Look at this beauty. I'm more and more positive that I will get more because right now they will be out there for sale. It's their blooming time. And then we have a yellow uh, something, probably BLC. Uh, that was actually my favorite because <laughs> the name tag said 20 years old. That's all they know about this Catlia. It's uh, really pretty, uh, very well grown. There's There was lots of new uh, blooms on it. This little uh, Lelia, some, that's one of those lions that they, nowadays it's the abbreviation for it. It was beautiful, really, really nice color on it and shape of the flower. And then, what do you know, little baby Maxillaria. They grow her in the regular, like a plastic basket that you would get for your uh, bathroom, you know, uh, container kind of thing. And look at that. This thing was probably three feet white with the explosion of flowers and of course the smell the coconut smell this is also called coconut orchid little baby over there and here we go phalaenopsis phalaenopsis look at this beauty i don't believe they had id for this one but these are the painted type, I call them, because they look like somebody brushed them with the paintbrush. And then there's a little baby Phalaenopsis on the miniature. Love, love, love them. Look how many more blooms it will have. There's, uh, if there's a ID for Phalaenopsis, you know, it's usually a miracle. And what do you know? Dun, 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 dun. Somebody that you already met before. My Lycosti Red Jewel and i was really really happy and honored to get the second place and get the speakers award which is it's it's a lot to get a, a speaker who is a superstar in that area pick your plant is very special so thank you courtney hackney okay and the next a little also blc probably it was really hard for these little guys this time because there was lots of massive large plants. Oh, here, look who is here. <laughs> we call these two the Squidwards, like from the SpongeBob movie because of the nose. 
uh, Stankopia Lydia Bush. You saw this exact plant at uh, uh, Venice Display in Sarasota show. It bloomed again. The, the flowers are so weird to the touch. They're oily and hard. Uh, this uh, group was absolutely stunning. A little bit more orange in person than the camera shows you. Camera gives it a little bit more of a flamingo pink uh, tone to it. But also about 3-4 feet white. There's a name for you. And beautifully sitting, blooming in that pot. Very nice display. And here is the showstopper. Look at this girl. Beautiful, beautiful Catlia. No surprise, she got the first place. Uh, these flowers look compared to my hand. And they were all like velvet. There was just like, it was breathtaking uh, plant. And it got the first place. Gorgeous. And then next, a little BLC. Uh, unfortunately, only couple open. There's lots of blooms ready to open. A gorgeous uh, plant. And uh, I don't believe there's an ID. You know, very often when the plants you own for so long, you lose the tags because of the wind, because of uh, this, because of that. But this one has a long description. It had AM, AOS awards. Unlucky number 13. <laughs> and uh, yellow. I adore yellow. Because I miss my spring flowers. We don't have real spring in Florida. So anything yellow reminds me of daffodils. This specific Oncidium got the new member a ribbon. Beautifully done. Uh, and look at these two. The cutest things ever. Sitting in that pretty basket and uh, just enjoying the meeting <laughs> they're so cute very uh nicely presented i love these two then the miniature fail this is my soft spot you're probably laughing i have too many soft spots yeah so there's some kind of description for it if you want just stop the video and read it uh, this beauty, absolutely, I, I cannot explain, it was so airy, and these little flowers are so uh, delicate, beautiful, beautiful plant, and so the next one is the antelope type uh, ginormous dendrobium, they're really cool, they kind of, they're different, I call them horny, because <laughs> they have horns well nice people call them antelopes i do go for horny but you're not surprised so a <laughs> little vanda right there beautifully displayed and and this uh hook i believe this is like a banana holder really nice idea actually beautiful little vanda family representative very healthy uh you can see in that basket and really bright and gorgeous with no ID, unfortunately. And lots of lots of different cool colors. And I mean, it's really hard to pick something that is better. Of course, I love mine, but there, as you can see, there are lots of plants that really um, are outstanding and spectacle. Now I know they're fragrant. We were talking with Courtney Hackney. That's his hand, by the way. And he said, these flowers are so unique. They're so ugly that they are beautiful. <laughs> and I have to agree. Plus, they're fragrant. I never had luck with them. We'll see. I have one, I think, there somewhere in the field. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I need to pay more attention. But the very interesting and... Um, a nice grown plant so and then we have an epidendrum the one that people sometimes refer like a dove looking flower here it is for you also did not open completely but it will just 
show you how unique this flower is. It just shows you how big of a variety the orchid family offers you. Look, we've seen all different colors, different shapes. Look at this one, clusters. And I believe we are in the species part where the species are judged separately. So here they are. Yeah, bunch of yellows. This is probably Lily or something. No, this is Catlia of some kind. So, and the next was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful epidendrum. It's, it's a show. These uh, fireworks of flowers that they're tiny, but there's so many of them. So for epidendrum, it's a very, very showy flower, if you ask me, because it's like a grape wine there of flowers and it's spectacular and here's the name for you in case you fall in love with it so much and then there was a beastie amethysta glossa this thing i swear is like four feet tall and it was uh grown by our president joanna and she said that's the first time her uh blooming for her but nobody was surprised she has a magic touch when it comes especially to Catlias. She can grow everything, but Catlias is her thingy. Yeah, grown in a shallow uh, basket, and it got Species of the Month uh, award. And I believe the member choice as, as well. Beautiful Lalia right there in the hanging rack. Lelius and Schomburgius, uh well, this is a Schomburgia and Catlia, so eh, something like that. They always have this amazing shape of the flower that I always, always um, love. And the beautiful Vanda right there, large, gorgeous colors, lots pink, yellowish, very pastel, and very pretty. And that for you guys will be it. There was a couple of more plants, but they were not uh, really kind of, they were small and, you know, I think we covered pretty much what we wanted to cover. And so how about that? Wasn't that amazing? So thank you again for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. Please subscribe. Here's my baby again. And until the next time, you have an amazing day. Thank you.